Relative quantitation is the most common application with real-time PCR, but sometimes full change data is just not enough. For instance, let's say I'm looking at samples infected with HIV, and I need to know exactly how many copies of virus are present in the sample. What other options are there when you need more concrete answers? That brings us to this great question from Jamse at Monash University, who asks, can TACMAN assays be used to determine the absolute quantity of the mRNAs? TACMAN assays can be used for a technique called absolute quantification, sometimes also known as standard curve analysis. Absolute quantification involves the precise molecular measure of a target concentration. In an absolute quantification experiment, samples of a known quantity are serially diluted and then amplified to generate a standard curve. The unknown samples can then be extrapolated into quantities based on the slope of this curve. The main hurdle in absolute quantification is the generation of this standard curve. Although it seems simple in principle, there are lots of things to consider. Your standard needs to meet the following criteria. First, the quantity of a sample must be known by some independent means. For this step, the concentration can be measured by a spectrophotometer and converted to the number of copies using the molecular weight of the DNA or RNA. You can also refer to our handy guide called Creating Standard Curves for more details on how to do this. Second, the standard should closely resemble the target from a biological standpoint, and it is very important that the DNA or RNA be a single pure species. For example, when measuring gene expression of RNA transcripts, you would want to use in vitro transcribed RNA. Take care here because purity will be an important factor in the accuracy of your measurement. Third, and finally, don't forget that your excellent pipetting skills can be put to good use here. One of the major pitfalls for scientists setting up standard curves is that they do not pay enough attention to the accuracy of pipetting of technical replicates. For the best results from your standard curve, ensure that your pipettes have been recently calibrated. Be very careful when making dilutions and pipetting into the plate, and ideally, make use of low retention tips. Now that we have our standards, let's set up a dilution curve in our plate. We recommend to run in triplicate with 10 full dilutions and at least five data points. When set up correctly, all Life Technologies real-time PCR instrument software will generate a standard curve for you from these points. The equation of the linear regression line through those points is then automatically used to calculate the quantities of any unknowns on the plate in the same units. For example, in this curve, I have five points starting with 20,000 copies of my target as the highest concentration, going down to 1250 copies. The standard curve plot is showing the input on the x-axis as log x and the CT values on the y-axis. Quantities are then determined from this equation. We'll remove any outlying replicates or points when necessary. Solving for x using the CT values of our unknown samples will give us the missing quantities. Notice that they will be in the same units as our standards, copies for copies, nanogram for nanogram, and so on. So now we have determined the absolute quantities of our unknown samples. Phew, making all of those standards was a bit of work. Is there any other way to get this type of data without the need for standards? Why yes, there is one other way to get absolute quantities with the TACMAN assays, and that is to use digital PCR. Digital PCR works by partitioning a dilute, approximately single copy sample into many individual real-time PCR reactions. Some portion of these reactions will contain the target molecule and are positive wells, while others do not and are negative wells. Following PCR analysis, the fraction of negative answers is used to generate an absolute answer for the exact number of target molecules in the sample, without reference to standards or endogenous controls. Examples of instruments that can be used for digital PCR include the Quant Studio 3D Digital PCR System and Quant Studio 12K Flex System with open array plates. To learn more about digital PCR and its applications, check out our other Ask TACMAN videos. And if you ever have any real-time PCR questions, you can ask us at any of these following places. We may even make a video out of your question.